Hello again. Uh, this isn't one of my normal videos. Uh, this is a video about Shotcut, a video editing program. The reason I'm doing this is that a few days ago I created a, a video and I spent many, many hours using Shotcut Video Editor uh, to edit this particular video out. And I finished the editing and I went to save it to create the actual video file to put onto YouTube and it wouldn't let me, it had a fault, it said files were missing, which I hadn't removed any files, and it perplexed me, and it was about 11.30 in the evening when I finished it, and I was a bit fed up. Anyway, in the end, I had to spend several more hours redoing the video to get it to work. And I did do a search on the internet, and I, the only information I found about it was so complex that I couldn't understand it anyway, it involved with editing lines of code and stuff, which I did try, but it was a bit complex and I couldn't get it to work. And then eventually I found a simple way of correcting the problem, so I thought it's well worth doing a little video in case it's of use to anybody else with a similar problem. Now basically what happened was, and I will show you on the computer in a moment, which will be a first for me because I've never done this before, I'm going to be using a program called OBS Studio to create this video. So you have to bear with me if it's not very professional because it's the first time I've actually used it to record anything on screen. So what happened was, once I'd created the video, everything was done, it looked fine, hunky-dory. When I tried to, to um, export the file to save it, it just came up with an error message. And no matter what I tried, I couldn't get past it. So uh, the following morning, I thought, I'll have another look at this, which is what I did. And I found a way of solving the problem. So I wasted all those extra hours recreating it because I can now do it from the original faulty file. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go onto the computer and show you exactly what happened and what I did. So I hope it will be of interest. I've got, I'm in file manager now. I'm starting from scratch so I can show you exactly what happened. I'll just, just go to the file in question. This is the MLT file. Second edit, MLT, fretwork and wood pattern. So I'm going to double click that and load up Shotcut and you'll see what I mean. Now, now it's loading up the program, hopefully. I'll just click down here. Now there's the program. Now there's the message you get when you load it up. So it'll still load up and it says um, there are missing, it says there are missing files in your project. Double click each row to locate a file. But when you click it, it just says blank and there are no missing files because I haven't moved anything and nothing is missing. But if you click the OK, what happens is it thinks about it for a little bit and then it loads up the actual program in question, which is fine. And I'll just show that it works by, run it, by running it. Then you see, you'll hear me speak in a moment. This is on the actual video. Hello again and welcome to another of my fret. I'll just stop that. So you see the program will actually function and you can go through it at any point. You can see all my editing, for example, here. If you go onto my YouTube channel, you'll find Every a couple of years ago. I'll turn the sound on the video off so that you can hear me speak and describe it. But basically everything works fine. Everything that I've edited is there and everything's working fine. But when I finished it, I'll go right to the end. Titles on the music. Sorry. There's the finish, and I thought, oh, I was well pleased with myself. Job done. There's a video. Cross tour, video, camera, short, shortcut edit, everything's there. And I thought, great, finished. So then, finish the video, no problem. All I've got to do now is click the export file button here. You can see my mouse on it, export file. So watch what happens when I click export file. Boing. Your project is missing some files. Save your project, close it, and reopen it. Shotcut will attempt to repair your project. Well, when I do that and close it down, it will not work. So I'll just click OK, and I'll close it down again just to show you exactly. The project's been modified. I'll click Yes, just in case. So I load the thing up in Shotcut again. And there you are, exactly the same screen. Blank, missing, whatever. Files are missing. Double click to me. So I'm back where I started. So I click OK, and again, it will load up. There you go. Now it loads up. I'm no expert on this, so, so I say please bear with me. And somebody out there watching this who knows will probably say what a waste of time. But the point is this. I found by accident a way of solving the problem. And I'm going to show you now and it's quite simple. I went through the video that I'd created carefully looking at it. And somewhere along here, I think it's just there. But you can't see it because it's got... There. 
What I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the zoom bar button here so I can zoom in so you can see a bit clearer. Now, if you look closely around the middle of the screen here, round here, there's a tiny little transition. Now, I didn't put that in. Now, either Shotcut put it in or my mouse slipped when I was doing it, I didn't notice. Now, if I move slowly through the thing, watch what happens. There, it says invalid. And I thought, well, that's odd, invalid. All right. I couldn't make it out. So what I did, I thought, I'll just try this. So what I did, I edited that little bit out. So I'm just going to show you, I'm going to click that, I'm going to click this section out from here to here, just to show you that it, that what will actually happen. So I've got the mouse, the cursor on there. So I'll click the S key to cut the video there. And I'll do the bottom one as well, just to be on the safe side. Okay, I think I've done that. Right, so I've got the little bit with the faulty bit there, look and this bit here and what I'm going to do I'm going to cut this whole section out by pressing the X key hopefully right it's gone now so that bit's gone now what I'm going to do I'm going to save the file but I'll call it something else to be on the safe side so we'll create and we'll just call it uh, save as uh, I'll call it OB because I'm on OB studio doing it just to be on the safe side so I'll save that okay so that's now saved now what I'm going to do I'm going to close shortcut down that's gone now there's the file that I've just created, fretwork wooden pattern, second edit over it, and we'll load it up. There you are, loaded up fine, no messages, no error messages, and it's loaded up. Now if I go to export file, which before gave me a message, there up comes the, the box for you to put your details in, and you click save, and it will now save the video perfectly alright. So basically, all of that problem I had was just caused by a, a rogue element in the video track that I don't know how it got there or anything but uh, it seems to have solved the problem so hopefully this may be of interest to somebody else who's got a similar problem with shotcut oh and can I just say one thing to remember I did mention it in the video I believe that it's no good pressing that save button regularly through shotcut it will say your your file but if you've got a fault in the in the file anywhere it will save the fault as well so what you should do is, every so often, go and uh, instead of just clicking the save button, go to save as and save your file with a different name. Put a letter on the end of it or something, anything, and just save multiple files so that if anything does go wrong later on, you can go back until you find one that hasn't got the particular fault. It'll save you an awful lot of time and effort. And it won't use up a lot of space in your computer because the MTL files it creates are only sort of instructional text files and they use very little space. Most of them are well less than 100K, so it's not gonna be a problem saving those files, and it is well worth it. So in future, rather than hitting the save button, I should be hitting the save as button and saving my files from now on. You can always delete them when you've finished anyway, so it's not a problem. Bye for now.